I highly doubt, I know it's been a lot of trending towards receiver. I just, you know, me personally, I just don't see receiver as a, a, a desperate need that you're going to go first, second round pick on a receiver. Mm -hmm. Especially as deep as the receiver class is, I know you can go at least 15, 15 deep. Yeah, right. And I feel I feel like there there's there's similarities and they all have positives and it's not like a you know a drop that just like similar with the defensive line where it's going from tier one to tier three. Mm -hmm. I think it's literally a seamless transition with the wide receivers where it's not that big of a drop off. Yeah. So yeah. I think you can find a great wide receiver in the third round. I do too. Yeah. And so um with that, you know, what are your thoughts on the draft prospects, what the Texans needs and what they're looking for? Well, man, I mean, I'm I'm of the same thought. I think that we need everything. The good thing about the situation is that, like, we don't have to reach on anything necessarily. Like, because, mm -hmm. like, we have, I mean, we have a bunch of pieces that, you know, are serviceable now. You know, like, Davis Mills is serviceable now, you know, um, mm -hmm. Lermy Tunsil and Howard are both serviceable now, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, Nico Collins, you know, is, is, you know, I think he, you know, there's some people saying he's going to come out and have a breakout thousand yard season. I think that that's kind of a little bit, if he does that great, but I think that that's kind of setting the bar a little bit too high. I'm expecting right. him to have about a 700 yard season. And I think that'll be a big ass improvement, you know, right. huge improvement if he gets 700 yards. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, and then going on defense, like, you know, Grenard is a good player, gr good player. I mean, Lopez is a good player. Collins is a good player. You know, um, we don't really have a, a solid, or like a true, like a dominant uh, pass rusher. You know, right. and we also don't really, if I say the, there is a need on defense, there we do need, we do kind of need a, a really, really good edge, you know, mm -hmm. that, um, I don't, I don't like people say it like to compliment Grenard. It's not to, I think Grenard is the kind of piece. Right. You know? right. You know, um, and then, you know, moving back from there, I mean, the linebackers, we know that at some point they're going to draft a linebacker in this draft. It's obvious. Like, mm -hmm. I think that the, 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 the contracts that they gave Kirksey and Kamu were like, I mean, you know, we'll talk about that in a yeah. second, but like, I think that they did that just so that they weren't forced into picking one early necessarily, mm -hmm. you know? And the same thing with secondary, like, yeah, I mean, we need playmakers on the secondary. Uh, King is good, but I mean, he's not the long-term fix. Uh, you know, we have a bunch of guys who are good, but might not be the long-term fix. And we definitely need help in the, in the safety. So um, going back to that, bro, I think going back to what you were talking about receivers, mm -hmm. I think that there's only a couple receivers that are worth, you know, a first or a second round pick for us. I think they are receivers that have something unique about their game. Like Pickens is, is a unique player, you know, mm -hmm. Christian Watson. We don't know what the hell he is, what the fuck he's going to, sorry, I shouldn't <laughs> even cuss on YouTube, but we don't know what he's going to be, but right. he has, if they reached on him, I could understand why. And then another mm -hmm. one is Jamison because of his speed. You know, now, like you said, he is a finesse receiver, but mm -hmm. he has the speed that, like, if he beats you, he can beat you over the mm -hmm. top. And I think right. so I can understand that, you know, but it comes mm -hmm. back down to, to the simple philosophy that if you have a chance to draft a good big guy and a good little guy, mm -hmm. especially where we at right now with our team, you draft the good big guy. You know, right. so if we have a chance to pick a Jordan Davis at 13, you don't mm -hmm. pass on Jordan Davis or Devontae Wyatt to pick Williamson. Yeah. I mean, to pick right. Williams, you know, like, and, and so we have a, a, a unique opportunity this draft. This draft is like a, um, like a franchise starter pack. You know, we, you mm -hmm. could get a, you could get, you could fix the offensive line. You could fix the defensive line all in one draft. You know what I'm right. saying? So, so like, I think that, you know, I, and I think that Nick is going to be very, very shrewd about this. I think that he's not going to, I don't see him taking a receiver in the second round that, that doesn't have number one capabilities. You know what I'm right. saying? I think that 
he's gonna he knows the quickest way to turn it. He knows how to build a team. And I like mm-hmm. you said, bro, I, I I really do think that you kind of have to address the um the offensive and defensive line.